So what are you doing here, Brandon? Metal prepping stuff. Yeah. Right. That way it won't rust on me. Well. Our astute viewers may notice the danger corrosive with the hand melting in the container as the warning. My hands have uh, had years of uh, abuse. So. Self-inflicted abuse. Mm. Apply metal prep above 70 Fahrenheit with brush, roller, spray, or dip rusted parts directly into solution. If only I had a vat. <laughs> five, six gallons of this. I could just throw it in there and just leave it in there for a few days. <laughs> okay. And then watch it disappear. Key parts went for a minimum of 30 minutes. More for heavy rust. Smooth bubbles out with sponge. Cloth insert parts every 30 minutes. Surface must be bone dry prior to applying 415. Well, I ain't going to be doing that. <laughs> no, nothing against 415, other than the fact that. We've had no luck it, it with it. It doesn't work. Yeah. Well, you know what really works? Fucking Endura. Industrial paint? Industrial. Yeah. Go industrial. You know, it says it like it for aids for bedding welding conductivity, but man, you must have to... Uh, like the fumes that come off of a welding, this must be fucking gross. It's like yeah. a zinc. Causes phosphor. burns, dangerous fumes form when mixed with other products. Don't inhale. Yeah, don't breathe fumes. It's like if you were straight welding that on, you might have some weird fumes coming off. Yeah, zinc phosphate. That's not good. Well, you know that zinc, that weld through zinc shit. Yeah, it's not good. That stuff has some pretty bad fumes when you're welding in. Yeah. I, mean, I guess technically you should be wearing a respirator at all times when you're welding, but you yeah, know. Yeah, it's I true. I should probably wear gloves when I take weld too, but fuck it. Well, I should probably be wearing gloves right now, since I can feel all my cuts burning. <laughs> since I'm rubbing phosphoric acid on. Yeah. Just a hint, though. Don't ever buy that stuff from Alderado. No. Savage, savage. How much do they want for that? Twenty over twenty-five dollars. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a lot of money for a watered-down acid, eh? Yeah. Where like Lorco sells it for still a savage price, but it's like sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is a lot of money. I, I, if I knew of an industrial product that I could just get, I would just use it. Because I mean, all this is just acid wash. Well, you could use a, a really more aggressive acid. Well, you could use, like, that pool acid I have. Yeah. Probably would do it. Or Although this... that shit doesn't prevent rust, so I don't know. Yeah, but I think if you left out in the rain, it would still rust. This? No. Once you once you coat it, you can throw it out there, it won't rust. I tried it. Really? I took a piece of plate and did it, and threw it out there, and the spot that had the brush didn't rust. Hmm. It's not bad. I'm gonna get a little piece of plate and we'll put it on. And I'll throw yeah, in the back you. of my truck for yeah. fucking well, for a I mean, month. Eventually, it will rust. No, oh, I'm just curious. All right, let's go search the floor for a piece of metal here. Floor metal is the. Uh... <sighs> it's, it's got scale on it. Let's get a nice piece of shitty plate. Here we go. piece that's been sanded off on that corner there yeah you gotta hose all this off after all right yeah I'll just give it a rinse yeah, yeah. Overall, 
all going to be expensive mm. because it costs about a 80 bucks to sandblast all this. Yeah. And it's going to be some money in primer, although I've already bought the primer, so. Are you just using the... Uh... I'm just going to use a Dura. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just use a Dura on everything. And then the top coat is going to be just a random color of speed enamel, something fun. Mm. I'll just, I'll, I'll choose different colors. I'll make, I'll make everything a little bit fun. Yeah. I didn't sandblast in the inside because, you know, time's money. Well, it is. And I, and I don't have to look inside of here. And that's, that's pre-filter anyways. Yeah, there you go. Fuck it. <laughs> Even right. though it does massively rust out, the filter would catch it all. The, the arms are actually the thing that turned out the best. They, they look pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah, they look like you uh, bought new old stock. Yeah. They're actually cast piece, eh? Yeah, cast steel, I guess. Yeah. Huh. I wonder why. Uh, maybe you needed the strength of that with the torsion bar style. Yeah, because the torsion bar goes in the end of here. Uh, maybe you couldn't get away with like a steel arm. I don't know. You mean like a regular, like a stamp? Yeah, that like every, it's just every full. car uses. Yeah, like uh, the 240SX with lower control arm. Yeah. Very same shape, but it's still a stamp steel. Yeah. You know, like the FD didn't, but in the 90s, it was a 40 plus thousand dollar car. The money needs to go somewhere. Yeah. So. But the Milano, depending on which one you got, was a uh, not a super not expensive. Super expensive no. Unless you got, you know, that model right there, then yeah, it was fucking expensive. You know, the three liter Verde wasn't cheap. So I guess all I'll do is just rinse them off and just chuck them outside to dry. Yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, if you're one of those balloons, it would be kind of nice to have running water in here. Because you, <laughs> you can just hose it down on the floor. Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Because it would dry in the morning, or you just turn the fire on and go, whatever. It'll etch the, uh, the floor. And now we wait. Yeah, there's grease on already. How does uh. this happen? <laughs> spray with PPE. Do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> How do you feel, Brandon? Mixed. Uh, this is just the primer. It's it's green primer. No, yeah. oh, this is the permanent color. Now. No, I don't think it's really bad. Yes. <laughs> no. Actually, I was thinking doing torsion bars red. Mm. Control arms gray. Yeah. And uh, sway bar is probably black because that's what the powder coat 